Hello everybody and welcome back. Last time we finished up the Partisan Rally and we confronted Shiratama, the self-proclaimed god or king of this world. And we also got the cat and mystery melts. This time we're going to wrap up the series by going over a few things that I haven't shown you yet. So first things first. I want to actually talk to that. I heard you were the champion of the Partisan Rally. That's my boy. Okay, mom, what do you have to say? You know, you should study sometimes too. Okay, thank you. Alright, another thing. Off screen, I did a little bit of grinding, and both the Kabuto and Kuwagara medals are now at level 99, and they're just about to reach level 100. In case you're curious how I did that, well, I basically fought the Baron a handful of times, like a lot. I know that I complained in the past about how this fight is really annoying, or more likely boring, and it is, but with the proper setup you can get it done in 2-3 to three minutes, and he does yield a decent amount of EXP, usually between 1100 and 1500. So how did, what was my setup for this fight? Well. For the Metabee version, I had Metabee with the best aim shot or shot parts equipped, that way his ultra shot will be at its strongest. I had Belsalga, and I had it with this move setup, basically he would use the left and right arm and then the head part to restore them over and over in a loop. And I had my third Metabot, which had the surprise metal equipped, and I also gave it the second best aim shot and shot parts that I could possibly find, because it also has ultra shot. So I would pretty much have Meta B and my third metal, uh, Metabot, continuously use ultra shot while Belsalga uses destroy. Also one thing that I never mentioned, because I never use destroy or sacrifice. Counter doesn't apply to either of those, so yeah, the uh, Banisher had no way of defending against it, so yeah. As for the Rokusho version. I had Rokusho pretty much use Sidebolt every couple of turns, and even though I had the parts for Valsalga, since I didn't have the Devil Metal, instead I used Wonder Angel. And the Angel Metal, the first Metaforce is Metaforce Up, which made it so Rokusho would be able to fill up the Metaforce Gauge pretty much after one charge, so I would use Sidebolt every two turns. And my third Metaforce remained the same, but with Metaforce Up, he will be shooting an ultra shot every two turns. So yeah, do that, rinse and repeat, and eventually you'll reach level 99. I could show you the game time, but I think it's actually more fun to show you how many different copies of Banisher I have, because they are a lot. So Sweat Mantle, the head part, 51, 47 Sweat Cape, 60 Sweat Cloak, and 53 Clip Club. So all in all, for give or around 30 levels, it was give or take 200 fights against the Baron. So I think the best, the most appropriate fight for the for reaching level 100 should be the very first fight in the game, Erika. If I beat you, I'll become famous. I'll make the front page of the school paper myself. So yeah, now that we completed the Parson Rally, Erika, as well as a few other characters, in fact, I'll tell you which ones, Erika, the Screws, the Baron, Koji and Karen will fight you if you go to, her, to their houses and talk to them. And they'll do that for as many times as you want, so if you missed out on any of their parts, then this is your chance. Sadly, of course, Koji never has Black Ram as one of its metabots, so you'll have to settle with as many Sumilodon, War Bandits and Rock Flowers as you could possibly ever meet. So this is fine, nothing new here so I'm going to skip it and I'll see you guys in a moment. Welcome back! And we have finally reached level 100! Wow! Kaburo Metal! Transform into a new shape. Just kidding. Tee. So yeah, 
Both the Kabuto and Kubogaramel actually have a fifth and final form that you unlock once they reach level 100. Now, by this point they have already unlocked all three metaphors, so do you get anything from taking that metal to level 100? Well, this is actually rather conflicting because based on some of the guides that I use online, a few of them mentioned how apparently you get a huge power boost from doing this, even though that's not really how power works in the game. The metal that you have equipped doesn't dictate how much damage you deal, it's the meta parts that decide that. And in fact, I did a little bit of a comparison, I fought against the same enemy at level 99 and then later at level 100, and it didn't, it didn't really change at all, so I think that the change might be entirely visual. So, who knows, I may be wrong, I have been previously in the past, so maybe there's a difference that I didn't really notice. Though the medals do look cool, in fact I'll just quickly show you on screen what the Kubogara medal looks like at level 100 as well. Alright, since we're in the topic of medals, we acquired quite a handful of them. In fact, I believe we have 20. However, you can see from the medal list that we're still missing a few. 10 to be exact. So of course a few of those are the Rokusho, the medals that are exclusive from the Rokusho version, such as the Snake, Queen, Squid, uh, Phoenix and a few others. And as well as the one that we didn't pick during the Fium Fortress segment. However, even if we were to tally all of those, we would still be missing one, we would be at 29 medals. And that is because the final medal that you can get in the game you can only get it once you have obtained all other 29 medals. Now, how would you go about doing that? Well, you have to go talk to an NPC that I have been ignoring throughout this entire LP. And I think it's time that we finally talk to him. That NPC is... Milky! Welcome to Metafighters Network! You can row battle, exchange meta parts, or give medals to to your friends. Pay close attention to what she just said, give medals. You don't really trade medals between a friend, you give medals. But don't do it when you're low metabots. So yeah, if you talk to her again, she will ask if you want to connect. Now, since I'm playing this on the virtual console, unfortunately I can't really connect with anybody. So I'm going to say no. You don't want to connect? Come back if you want to connect. So yeah. The idea behind this is that if you happen to have two Game Boy Advances or Game Boy SP or if you have a friend who does and you both have a different version of the game and a cable link you could, in theory, trade medals. And once you have all 29 medals you can go and talk to Dr. Aki and he would in fact give you the 30th and final medal. So we don't really have that medal but let's pretend we do and let's go talk to Dr. Aki. Oh, it's you, Iki. I heard that you were the champion of the Partson Rally. But the Metabot world is much, much bigger than you know. You can't say you're a real Metafighter, until you have fought with Metafighters from all around the world. So yeah, that seems to be implying that we should go and connect with other Metafighters in the Metafighter network. So of course he won't give me the medal because I only have 20 medals, but let's pretend that he did. And let's quickly go over the final medal, the Botro medal. So the bottom medal, it doesn't really have affinity for any skill at all, meaning that it doesn't really have any compatibility bonus. It targets strike parts and when it comes to attributes, it has high values in berserk and aimshot and low values in strike, interrupt, shoot and support. Now, as for meta forces, it has access to spiral bolt, being the second medal to have it. I already talked over about spiral bolt, so it doesn't really need any introduction by now. Up next, we have Crazy Metaphors. It requires 60 out of 80 Metaphors, it is of the Interrupt attribute and it targets all enemies and drains the enemy's Metaphors to zero and then deals damage equal to that amount. And then finally we have Stop. It requires 50 out of 80 Metaphors, it is of the Strike attribute and it targets all enemies and it inflicts the Stop status on all of them. So yeah, a quite a useful medal. 
but yeah. So before we leave, let's actually pay a quick visit to Miss Nine. It looks like our own Shiratama caused a lot of trouble before. Sorry about that, Iki. No problem. Alright, I think that actually covers the topic of medals. Moving on to something else. Looking at our item list, we've acquired a lot of them throughout our journey, but believe it or not, we're actually missing out on a few. First off, we have the collector's items. There's a set of four items that you can acquire pretty much as soon as the Partisan Rally has begun. I wanted, I ignored those and I wanted to leave them for now. So let's go ahead and get them in order. So the first one of those is actually waiting for us in the, ocean, in the ocean of mischief. So let's quickly make our way there. I figure we may also dress the part, but there's actually one dress that I never really showed because the game actually only shows you for like half a second. So this is the dress that Milky accidentally gave us while we were exploring the witch's castle. So we might as well wear it here. So if you recall, back when we were trying to obtain the rally parts, there was a utopian that I ignored. Well, that's where we're headed right now. It's a dead end. Gibson is in trouble now. Um, hey, how's it going? I'm Gibson. Let's celebrate our first meeting together. Here, take this. And we got the gold black lure. Alright, let's quickly take a look. Collector's item 1. A very popular lure. So yeah, you don't really get that much information. I don't know if this is supposed to be a nod or a reference to maybe another game in the series, I can't really say for sure, but yeah, we got the first one. So in order to get the second one, we need to head to Metropolis. So let's quickly talk to the Oracle. Please stand in the center of the floor. So I mentioned Metropolis, but where exactly in Metropolis? Well actually we have to pay a quick visit to Kirara. Oh, Iki, welcome! Congratulations on beating Metabots! Here's a present in recognition of your amazing deed. And we got the blue capsule. A mysterious capsule. Yep, not much to say really. Actually, you do get a different line of dialogue if you talk to Kirara again. Um, I was just wondering what kind of relationship you have with Henry. Henry and I have been friends since childhood. We both met Dr. Aki while we were in elementary school, you know. Really? I didn't know that. You know, looking at you reminds me a lot of how Henry was at your age. You better not lose to him. Okay. So it's a sweet line of dialogue. Last time Henry and Kirara were all lovey-dovey running across the seashore laughing. Those two will get married someday. Alright, moving on to the third collector's item. Believe it or not, we actually need to head back to Codine. I know that it was probably better to just get the first and third, but I wanted to really do them in order. So, for the third item, we have to talk to Margarita. Hero! Mockingbird came back! Thank you! Let me give you this! And we got the pink flower. A pretty plain pink flower. Also, if you talk to Margarita again. Hero! Come play with Margarita! In this case, we're going to say no. 
If you say yes, she will fight you as many times as you want, similar to Erika and everybody else. Actually, not like everybody else. I forgot to mention that, oddly enough, Hachiro, he's not in his cells anymore. In fact, I don't know where he is. I looked everywhere, I looked back at the dungeon in Menabot Island, he wasn't there. I looked in the small island in the Ocean of Mischief where we last saw him and he also wasn't there. So I have no clue where he is. Won't somebody please find this poor lost child and bring him home? Anyways, moving on to the final item. Once again, we need to head back to Metaropolis. And in fact, it is the very same section of Metropolis where we obtain the second collector side. The lower right. So right here, if you paid attention, you can see that it's actually the entrance to a house. Even though we'll seem to be entering from the back. Yark! Where the hell did you come from? You're really off the wall, man! So yeah, we need to talk to this Metabot here. Did you finish everything from Metabot's AX? Uh, we haven't really played that, but sh let's say yes. You're pretty amazing, kid. Here, take this. And we got the Game Boy Red. A red Game Boy. Yeah, that is pretty self-explanatory, I guess. By the way, make sure that you watch the Metabots TV show. Okay. And believe it or not, you can't exit from here. Hey, hey, you can't use that exit. Leave through the way you came in. So, I don't know. This is a rather strange room, but... Okay. So, that is the fourth and final collector side. Though we're not quite done yet. Up next, I want to... Head back to the Ninja Village. Though, of course, we can't enter it normally because it would take us to the same house as that old man. So we'll go to the left side of Mount Totoro. Alright. So what I want to show you in the Ninja Village isn't really related to any items that we may be missing. More so a small event right here. If you recall the first time we came here we saw a sword fighting show. And right here, Robo Robo. Robo Robo? Ah! Robo Robo, Robo Robo! To! Robo who? Don't worry, it's back of sword. Ooh! Ah. So yeah, we get the same show, but this time with a Robo Robo member. Speaking of the Robo Robo members, there's one right here. Trust me, I'm trying, but you can't talk to him. I'm pressing A. Nothing's happening. I don't know if this is an oversight or something, but you can never interact with this guy. Then again, if you recall, you could never enter that house, so maybe at some point in the game you were supposed to and you would fight this guy or someone else and they scrapped that part in development and it stayed like this. Alright, the final thing to show you. I mentioned how... Well, rather I didn't. You can find Milky the Witch in pretty much every single Hogmart and you'll talk to her and you can connect with other metafights. And she's also here in fact. And you could say that she's, out of all the ninja here, she's the stealthiest because she's invisible for some reason but yeah that's everything that I want to show you in the ninja village now let's actually head back to Riverview so aside from the collector's items there's actually two more items that I can show you 
but we need to head back to Metabot Island. And let's actually change dresses. I think we use this more than enough. There we go. So, this is rather odd, but if you inspect the statue, the fountain here, I'm Kawamura. I have been very successful, so I bought a brand new car. Jealous, aren't you? What kind of attitude is that? Could it be? You never seen me on TV? So, depending on your answer here, you'll get two different items. First, I'm going to show you what happens if you say yes. Someone like that must be punished. So first, you have to fight Kawamura, but he has three magic clowns, nothing particularly threatening. So I'm going to skip this fight, and I'll see you guys in a moment. Welcome back. Please, let me leave. Uh, give me a break already. Did he die? Oh my god! My brand new car! I won't forget this! What was that? And we got a speed about. So this is one of the two items. And let's take a look. There are not enough words to describe just how useless this thing is. So it's a funny line, but I actually disagree. The speedabot is not actually useless. You can, in fact, sell it here to this girl. I heard that this speedabot will be worth a fortune someday. Oh, that's the one! Hey, would you sell that to me? Sure, why not? And we got a hundred dollars. Nice. Speaking of money, I actually want to see something. So as I mentioned, as I showed you before, I got a ton of parts from Fighting Vanisher. I want to sell them and see if we can actually max out on cash. Wow, really? 27 per part? That's, an, that's amazing. Okay, let's do just that. I believe the maximum money is 999. Yep. Cool. So, that was one of the two items that you can get from Kawamura. Let's quickly switch back and I'll show you the other one. Alright, welcome back. So, this time we're going to say no. Right, right. There's no reason to not know my name. I'll give you my autograph. Here you go. And we got Case Autograph. Farewell, boy. And he crashes again. So, the autograph. You can actually sell it. But, oddly enough, you have to sell him to Kawamura himself. How do you do that? Well, you simply inspect the fountain again. Hey, do you have the world's famous Kawamura's autograph? If we say yes, we can sell it to him. If we say no, we'll keep the item. Really? You're gonna give it to me? It's almost impossible to get nowadays. It's just so popular and rare. Sir, are you Kawamura? Ugh. No, of course not, right? But your voice is similar to his. Take this, kid. And we got $50. So not as much as we would have received from the speed up. Well, I'll be going now. Exit stage right. So again, I don't know if Kawamura is supposed to be an inside joke. Maybe he's a member of the development team. Maybe he's from a previous game in the series. I really don't know. Anyways, so the final thing that I would like to show you. So throughout our adventure, we face off against a number of challenges. We defeated the screws, we defeated our rival Koji a handful of times. We also thwarted the evil plans of the Robo Robo Gang and we defeated the unstoppable Mega Emperor. However, throughout our journey there has been one opponent, just one. 
that actually got the, be the best of us. And now, I think it's time for payback. I'll see you guys in a moment. Finally, payback time. Let's do this! And there we go! Finally, payback! Alright, I think that's it for the series. Thank you for watching, I hope you find this mildly entertaining and as always, any feedback is appreciated. See you guys next time!